I really don't think that people understand what liquidity is. Think about it in traditional retail. If you've got a thousand iPhones that you need to sell, like physically you have a thousand iPhones, how are you going to sell that to one person or a group of people in one shot? You need to go to where the buyers are. You are a seller. You need to go to where the buyers are in order to sell all thousand iPhones. You going to that area is an area of liquidity because there's money there so you can exchange the product for the money. So if you see the price of US 30 or Australian dollar, US dollar or Euro dollar going way, 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 way up, it's going to an area where the sellers are. Then once it gets there, it's satisfied and it's sold all of its units and it just, that's how liquidity works. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to find areas of liquidity on the charts so that you can take the delicious trades that just get you those nice big moves and to prevent you from getting stuck in the opposite direction. Okay, so this is NAS 100 on the daily time frame. Price stopped going up right here and started to go down, breaking this previous structure, coming back up. And do you see this wick right here? Right above that, right there was liquidity. Came up here, tapped it, and continued down. Grabbed this liquidity and started to come down. What was it coming down to and looking for more of? It kept going down. If we look to the left, we can see areas right here, right at this area, right below here, there's nothing. Price came down and made this very long wick right here to tap out the liquidity below this. Once it was satisfied with that liquidity, it started to go up. It is now going up, so it is now looking for the next available liquidity. As you can see right here, this high point was 15265.98. This high point right here was 15274.65. It is now above this area at 15300. It has grabbed the liquidity from this area. I don't know if it's going to reject down now because it grabbed enough liquidity or if it's not satisfied enough yet and it will go for this liquidity that lives above here because above here is a lot of liquidity. So it might continue up, grab this liquidity, all of the buying or selling orders that live up here and then cascade down. In order for price to move up, there has to be a large buyer down here. In order for a large buyer to exist, there has to be the equal number of sellers. If people have stop loss orders right here on buy orders, stop loss orders on a buy order is a sell order. And also if breakout traders have their entries right here for shorts, that means that there's a lot of sell orders below this area, which is why once price got to this area, it shot up. So what I want to explain right here is as price was going up, you see all these high points and low points, this perfect market structure coming up. This is all market structure. And because of this market structure, it was very hard for price to get down to this area. This makes it hard for price to come down, which is why we got so much of this price action on the way down, because this right here is known as high resistance liquidity. For price to get down to this, it needs to fight through all of these levels. Once price fought through all of those levels, as you can see, it whipsawed back and forth until it was satisfied with the liquidity. Now price is balanced. So all of the buying was balanced by all of the selling. So all of this area is now balanced price. Now price has free reign to go to the top right here in a very low resistance swing because price is already balanced over the last two years. But because this swing up is so smooth, this is now an area of low resistance. There's very little market structure on the way up here. So if price does start cascading down, it's going to do it extremely aggressively because it's got no resistance of price movement to slow it down. Price wants to be balanced. So when this starts coming down to grab liquidity below here, it's going to do it very, very quickly. There's not gonna be any of this zigzagging. 